What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Sammy Marie here and I do videos all about mental health here on my channel. I have borderline personality disorder, bipolar 2, PTSD, and OCD. And those are the types of videos that I do here on my channel. And today I have a new video coming at you. I am going to be talking about celebrities with BPD. And I'm really excited to talk to you guys about this because I always wondered what kind of celebrities had BPD just so I could kind of relate to different people you know what I mean and celebrities you know what I mean kind of like hide their mental illnesses I feel like sometimes but I did some research and found some celebrities with BPD so I figured why not share them with you today so let's go ahead and just jump on into it so number one celebrity is Pete Davidson. Now Pete Davidson is a comedian and he has BPD and he recently just started talking about his BPD. He got diagnosed about a couple years ago and um, has always struggled with depression and anxiety and stuff like that and recently just got diagnosed and has struggled with self-harm in the past as well and has struggles with his relationships and then got diagnosed and yeah he did a really really good interview with I forget who it was I don't know who the interviewer was but I'll link it down below it's so good I really like Pete Davidson um I think he's a really cool guy he's a great comedian and um yeah I think he's really awesome so go ahead and check out that interview um I think it's really awesome and he just talks about his struggles with his just his struggles with his mental illness and um it's very relatable i think i don't want to spoil it too much if you guys want to watch it so go ahead and just click the link and um yeah check it out number two trisha paytas now trisha paytas isn't like a celebrity but she is a fellow youtuber and she is huge on YouTube and she has struggled with BPD for a really long time and she just recently started talking about it and she has BPD let me tell you like she has struggles with her relationships and she it really displays that on YouTube like when she has a falling out with someone it's very obvious um so if you don't follow her it's definitely someone to um take a look at so yeah she definitely has BPD um she has a relationship now where it's a very healthy one and it's it's really nice to see so it's definitely someone to check out um she did just recently put up a video um I think it's like her relationship with BPD she is now recently trying to talk about BPD a little bit more openly which is really nice so yeah that's really cool number three Mickey Welsh from the band Weezer so he um i have notes here so that's why i'm i'm uh reading it he retired after suffering from a nervous breakdown he said basically a lifetime of doing drugs and being undiagnosed as having bipolar disorder ptsd and borderline personality disorder finally caught up to me when i was 30 years old so um i don't know much about him but obviously he had a mental breakdown which is really really sad because you know he was obviously you know doing too much and like touring and you know doing so much that he had a nervous breakdown and then he had to like stop um, unfortunately in 2011 he died of heart failure from a drug overdose which is really really sad um, but yeah, it's really, really unfortunate. Number four is Vincent Van Gogh, which is very interesting, which is very, very interesting. I thought um, it can't be confirmed because he passed away, but uh, many believe that the famous artist suffered from a range of mental health issues. He, They believe that his death was, his, was a suicide, which is very interesting. Many believe that he suffered from a combination of bipolar disorder, borderline personality disorder and possibly lead poisoning which I thought was so interesting like 
crazy. And then number five, Marilyn Monroe. Um, many people believe that Mar Marilyn Monroe also had borderline personality disorder. Um, I don't know if she was officially diagnosed, but many people believe that she did have it. She suffered from emptiness, confused identity, unstable relationship, and she did have a drug addiction, which led to her overdose, which is a sign of BPD as well, which is addictions. I tried to look up to see if any other people had BPD, like any other celebrities, but these are all the only people that I could look up. I'm sure there's tons of other celebrities that have BPD that just aren't willing to come out about it, which I can kind of understand. The stigma is so out there and there's tons of people that just don't want to talk about it, which I can kind of understand, but hopefully one day the stigma will be so like decreased that people will be willing to come out and talk about it. But yeah, um, I'm hoping that many people will be able to talk about it and just not fear you know, the stigma that surrounds it. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I think it was something a little different, something that we can kind of relate to and, you know, it's just something a little different. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. I do not get paid per this video. I do get paid every time you use my link. BetterHelp is a great online therapy option, especially because we can't go to in-person therapy right now just because of being in quarantine and everything. Um, it's great, especially because you can text your therapist and all that good stuff. So definitely just think about that. If you are interested in therapy right now, um, it's just a great option for you. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little different, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. What kind of videos do you guys want to see next? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.